Good morning. I did speak with the battalion chief and he said that it was an extremely scary moment when they heard one of their own firefighters calling a mayday, calling for help over their radio. You can see this is the house that they were working in last night. They were trying to fight the fire. That firefighter was trapped up on the second floor of this home while it was up in flames. The chief tells me that around eight o'clock last night, that's when they were called to this house on Norwich Avenue. When they arrived, they found a two family home engulfed in flames. Both Taftville and Norwich Fire Departments began offensively attacking the fire in hopes of containing it quickly, which they say they did. He says the water pump failed on the Norwich engine, making the Taftville engine the primary pump source to fight the fire. Now, Benjamin tells me they did check the engine earlier in the day and everything seemed to work fine, but he says it is 30 years old, so sometimes some of these parts fail. He says while a Norwich crew was on the second floor, a firefighter got separated from his group. Benjamin and tells me the firefighter issued a mayday call when he realized he was too disoriented to be able to get his self himself out. The Mohegan Fast team, which is a team specifically for rescues like this one, was called to the scene to rescue the firefighter. The battalion chief tells me the Mohegan team and others on scene were able to help the firefighter out without injuries, and he went right back to work after getting checked out by the paramedics. Benjamin says they were surprised when the mayday call came through, but they had a plan in place. It's very uncommon, but it's something that we're all trained in. We have a procedure that uh, the FAST team, that's a specific job, is just should a firefighter become down or disabled, that's the only reason they're on the, on the scene. And it was handled well, all the companies worked well, and it was a successful outcome. And as you can see here, there are still a couple of crews on scene here at the Norwich home that was on fire late last night. They are still out here investigating. We've seen fire marshals coming and going. We've seen Taftville fire and rescue. There are a lot of moving parts still to this scene as they try to figure out what happened and why this fire started in the first place. Any updates that we get, we will, of course, let you know as we get them. Live in Norwich, Brooke Griffin, Fox 61 News. Okay, Brooke, thank you too, for getting to all of that for us. We do appreciate it.